Hello everyone, I am feeling pretty sick, so my voice is not the best right now, but I wanted to make a video demonstrating the effect of my patcher plugin called SFeed, and I wanted to show you guys the way that I use it, and the way that you guys could potentially use it as well. So I have here a little groove that I made a while back. And I am going to add that effect to the drums. So usually what I do is I will link all the drums, with the exception of the kick, I will link all the drums to a bus. So I'll usually go in here and I'll just put route to this track. And it routes them all in there. And it also has them routed to the master. What that's going to do is it's going to double your signal. Uh, so in the drum bus, I load up my plugin called SFeed, which I made in Patcher. You can see the mapping here in Patcher. It's not too complicated. And this is what the interface looks like. So first thing I do is I bring down the dry signal. That way the dry drums are only going into the master. And this is just being used as an effects send type of thing so it only has the wet signal okay so i'm gonna play the drum groove just the way that it is right now since i turned down the dry signal it's not doubled if you don't have this turned off it's just gonna be louder because it's basically doubling your audio yeah so you want to make sure that that's turned off or you can leave it on it's totally up to you then this is the wet. This is what this is doing to the actual sound. So sometimes it, it can get a little overwhelming. So just make sure to kind of tone it down with the wet knob if it's too crazy. This is the feedback filter, as you can hear. This is a cutoff filter, which I believe it's cutting off the frequencies from the flanging. I don't entirely remember, honestly, I made this a while back. And this kind of changes the, the frequency range or the position of the flanger on the filter. You can see you can get a variety of tones in the drums themselves and then this is like a distortion for that feedback just to kind of add a little bit of saturation to the entire thing dry drums and then this is with S feet on them and again you can turn down the amount here on the wet or you can lower the volume as well or you can change the amount that goes into the bus or the send but yes that's the way it sounds on that's the way that it sounds on drums it creates these resonant tones in the drums and you know it works on any type of drums that you would like to add to it again i don't like adding the kick to it because it's such a low frequency that sometimes it creates like a muddiness or like a rumble um, you can add it if you want it's totally up to you 
Uh, you would just need to EQ it afterwards or even before. So if you put an EQ before this and you just want to, you just want to apply this effect to certain frequencies, then you can just create a kind of like a limit of what frequencies you want going into the plugin here. So if I only want the high frequencies, I can just have that there. If I only want the low frequencies. But that's kind of what this is doing, the cutoff filter, in a way. But yes, that's if you want a little more control over the frequencies that are going into the S feed. And of course, feel free to totally go in here and tweak these to your own liking as well. Um, but that's the way that it sounds on drums. Now, if I turn on these, I put it, I loaded it up in here as well. I'm going to turn down the dry and the wet. And this is the little type of groove that I have going. And then this is with the S feed on the drums. You know, it just adds some more flavor to the drums, a little more hypnotic feeling because of those resonant tones. And so then I go into the melody, I do the same thing with the melody. I will load these up into a send where I load in the S feed. I turn on the dry and the wet. And uh, again, these are all being run into the master, but they're just being also routed into the melody bus here. So when you route them, just make sure not to click. Uh, sometimes if you put route to this track only, then all the sounds are only going to be running through there and you're only going to get the wet signal. Uh, that's just me. That's just my own preference. I like having them separated to have more control over the dry and the wet sound you can essentially just have them all run through here since there is a dry knob it is going to have the dry signal separated it has it separated through patcher um, so these are also separated so you don't need to do that if you don't want to but again i do it just to have a little bit more control over the sound so yes let me play it now if I go in here and I turn on the wet, you hear those resonance peaks coming through. if you're making techno or whatever you're doing you want to have some side chain going in there let me just throw some quick side chain here This just adds some saturation, so it makes it a little more crunchy. And the amount that you want in there, totally up to you. And you can always just EQ here if some of them are a little too sharp.
to turn these back on. And then I turn this one on as well. And all of these you can automate as well. Just create automation there. And I just use it to experiment. <clears throat> you know, you can literally put this on anything. I'm thinking of maybe even putting it on the master. Just to see what it does. transitional effects in the track I decided to make it because I wanted something like this. Like I wanted a plugin that would do this. And there is some out there, but I wanted to be very specific in what it was doing because I love flanging effects and I love the, the effect of feedback and resonance. And I wanted to have that all in one. So what better way than to make it myself, you know? And these plugins I initially made for myself and then I decided to put them out there um, to whoever wanted to maybe support and, and buy it. Or if you're a Patreon, then you have access to it. But I, don't, I hadn't made a video really describing it or presenting it and, and showing the potential that it has in a actual track setting. So hopefully this was a clear enough video to kind of explain what the plugin does. Again, it's just an instance of Patcher, but it's a plugin that I made myself in here. And I just called it S-Feed. And uh, if you would like to support, and if you would like to try it out, then I have a link in the description or in the comments. I'll put it probably in both, where you can go and purchase this. I have it for 10 bucks. So I will link that so that you can you guys can go in and grab it if you'd like. And I would love for you to send me a video or an audio clip of you using it in your own track and, and letting me know your feedback because I do potentially want to create a second version with more effects and more variety. But also I like keeping things simple because it's a lot more intuitive that way like here you just basically have these four knobs to control and the saturation i don't touch too much only when i want a sound to be 
well, more saturated, of course, a little more distorted or have a little bit more of a crunch to it, then that's when I will add the saturation to it. Um, it's mostly these three knobs and messing with these and the flanger position is the position of the frequency or the tonality of the resonance. So just mess around with these knobs with whatever sounds you want and uh, hope that you guys have fun with it. I definitely do all the time. Like you guys saw me here, there's so much potential for automations and different transitions and recordings that you can create uh, to really give your track a little bit more flavor, especially the drums. I, I personally really enjoy using it on drums, and sometimes I will create drum loops or in instances of like percussion loops or hi-hat loops, and then I will add this plugin to it, and then I will record that. And I will save those loops to use again or resample in other tracks or just add as layers to drums. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I would uh, very much greatly appreciate the support if you do go and get this for yourself. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I will be back with another video soon on another one of my patcher plugins sweet goodbye